and then after that, take on the Cloud main himself. But we got two sets to go before then. Back to Diddy Kong versus Peach. All right, I like seeing this matchup. Very fun to see. Again, I feel like Diddy Kong slightly wins because he can just stuff out, or his arrows are really fast and impressive, so he can just stuff, stuff out Peach whenever she's trying to float in front of his face. But one thing I like that Sam is doing is just floating barely above the ground. So even if you throw the arrow, you might actually throw it out above her because she's not that high. We, ta we talked about how this is kind of a challenging matchup for Peach. One of the, the most notable like bullet points as far as results mm -hmm. for this matchup is Zenoda versus Samsora. Zenoda, I believe, has a, a very long-standing winning record versus Samsora, even though Samsora's gotten like, you know, huge wins, better placings overall. But whenever these two meet in bracket, it's usually the monkey who comes out on top. That is true. I'm not too shocked to see that. Again, I feel like it's uh, decently hard for Peach to be able to approach this character. Oh, fantastic conversion. Slowing things down while that platform is away. Again, I love this Zenodo play style. He just, he just runs back and forth. He does a weird level of Foxtrot where he doesn't Foxtrot to be fast. He just does it like run back, run forward, run back. Just like, all right, what are you going to do? Did he try to move in? Okay, now I can try to approach. And then random throws out pairs or grabs. He makes it look like he like doesn't hold his control <laughs> controller sometimes. Right when I say it, he gave off that impression. Like you said, though, that's, that's one of the coolest things to watch is... The no movement movement, right? Yeah. And he goes for that crazy up smash that we've seen him go for last time. And that should be a KO. Please. Peach, a pretty light customer, gonna fall victim to that down tilt up smash about like 105, 110. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, by the fact that, yeah, she can actually get hit by it a lot earlier. It's easier to combo. Unless she's at really high percent, then you'll be able to DI up and get out of that down tilt up smash combo. Ooh. I like that. I love seeing. Ooh, double! <laughs> What are you, Zane? <laughs> <laughs> Double cancel off the ledge. Samsora has to get something started on the stock though, but you see how deliberate Peach needs to play while behind in the matchup. Yeah. And again, it's very... Oh, is that? that? No, it's not it. But it's fantastic to see Zenodo, because again, he doesn't travel too much. Mm. Um, you haven't seen him in the top placings a little too often, but you know he can compete at that level. Like, some people forget about him and be like, Oh, Samsora, you know, top 15, Zenodo, maybe 45. No. No, don't forget about this kid. Oh, okay, went for that hard read again, but Zenodo doesn't seem to actually like to roll. Just likes to run away. Okay, never. You know what? You know what? Okay, Zenodo. Diddy's roll is too good. <laughs> it's too good to Even not. Even if you use. don't like to roll, you have to roll as Diddy. It's just fantastic. Yeah, my roommate, um, Falsy, actually back in the day for years, he would never ever roll. Like roll has this thing where it's perceived to just be bad. People are like, wait, roll? That's a terrible, terrible option. Mm -hmm. But it's so amazing. If you watch Zero play, he rolls. All the time. This is, uh, I believe him and MK Leo, they roll infinitely. And people just get tricked up by it. Oh, Diddy Kong for sure. Diddy yeah. Kong has, roll has some of the best frame data for a roll in the game. So quick. Just because it's like, he gets so low to the ground too. Yeah. But didn't really need the roll too much to seal out that stock. After the big lead he had built previously. It was pretty much easy picking another down tilt up smash. The ages old classic. He's been going for that a lot. Like he got the down tilt and he couldn't get the up smash for the first one. He just went for it again and it worked. And keep in mind that Captain Zack's Peach actually took a game. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. Captain Zack, best Peach. Just doesn't play it. Maybe Sam Sora is the best Bayo. We don't know. I, I ain't gonna touch that. <laughs> <laughs> if he brings out that Bay, we're gonna find out. You can, you can go out on that limb if you want. I'm gonna stay impartial. <laughs> so Sora's probably like, I don't wanna leave my fans, so I'm gonna stay with my Peach. <laughs> that impression's pretty good. Yeah, I have a lot of impressions. I just try not to do it to not be rude. But here we are! <laughs> Going on to Lilat. Interesting choice. We mentioned a little bit how this is a, a interesting anti-Diddy stage because of the way the, the elevation works. Yeah. How it tilts left and right. You can't throw the banana when you're at downhill because you'll just hit the engine. But the fact that he doesn't ban Lilat seems like he's okay with it. He's like, I don't care. Go ahead, take me to the stage. You think it messes me up? It's actually good for me. It's probably a tri flat ban. Yeah, would be my guess. But the platform layout not really doing too many favors for Sansora. Maybe that, that's something that we saw other characters use versus Diddy Kong is you can wait it out on these uh, top yeah. and the left and right platforms. While that banana's in hand and the elevation is in Diddy's favor, you can buy yourself a little bit of time. Yeah, I think it's really good, especially whenever you're at KO percent. You're just like, all right, I'm at KO percent. I'm just going to hang out on this platform. But it's still a little rough because, you know, Diddy Kong can just up tilt or up smash you while you're on that platform to provide pressure that you can't even do anything about, especially that up tilt. Green. Didn't you back air? No, actually decided to turn around fair. So yeah, stay in shield. Don't even drop it. <laughs> 
I like that spacing away just enough where he can actually react to what Diddy Kong is going to do. Ooh. That's one thing I like to do, or uh, I think it's a good thing. Hang out near the ledge when you're fighting against Diddy Kong holding a banana, because Diddy Kong's banana uh, can't grab you. And actually, normally can't do an aerial unless you're MVD. Because <laughs> he'll, he'll do an aerial, he'll drop, Z drop the banana, do an aerial, pick up the banana. Like, it's, it's wild. While doing the aerial. So you can just get hit by the banana and get pushed to the ledge and you're fine. Yeah, and then you just re-grab it. Wow, that was a fast attempt at a ledge trump. Four throw. He's gonna start clawing back in this game. The snipe with the turn up. Not Ooh. gonna lead to too much. I know sneaking away, getting center stage again. But wow. put on great pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> Since he had like glide tossed the banana, he ended right in front of Peach Face, or Peach literally couldn't do anything but get <laughs> grabbed. It did not matter. Look at him. Uh. And now it's Samsora's turn to do the no movement movement. Wow. Waiting it out. <laughs> And all I need to do is wait for you to, to flinch one time, yeah. and this fair is coming for your face. Oh my, what is with this Zenodo <laughs> run up up smash? I know Peach loves the flow, but how does he keep getting that to work on every character? Did he so quick? Yeah. The move is so fast. That and is it's true. surprisingly lethal. Alright, but no damage right there. Tripping on bananas not give you damage, but this will be. There we go. I think that's uh, F tilt that he does after he does the down throw. Okay. There was a time that Sam Sora did beat Zero, but I believe Zero's actually been kind of wiping the floor of him the last couple times that they played. Oh, okay, nice continuation of that combo of using the F tilt. That was back at GTX, right? Oh, yes, quite a while ago. About a year ago almost, yeah. Sam Sora having a really good run on the stock, just knows exactly where his is going to be at any point in time. And if those panic monkey flips start to come out, Sam Sora's going to be fishing for him, right? Yeah, and uh, Sam Sora always doing that, going for that high recovery. Or expecting to do a high recovery so he can just snipe you out with that fair. But it looks like Zenodo's trying to avoid it because he knows that Sam is looking for that. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That was a good choice. I'm surprised to see him use the side B's near the ledge when it's harder to monkey flip cancel because of the stage moving. You don't even know when it's going to move. I think it's just because he's so confident he's going to hit it, right? Yeah. Like, you, you know he's going to stay there, not going to mess around with you. Alright, Sam Sora doing taking out the turn up. Interesting. Yeah, both players retreating, picking their items. That turn up did a lot of shield pressure. The heck? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like what? half a shield. Yes. <laughs> what turn up was that? Oh, he actually got the roll read but missed the grab. The spot dodge frame data for Diddy Kong also pretty good. Yeah. That actually should have KO'd right there. That bear that he went for, but he mistimed it where he landed and the bear never came out. And so watch these high side Bs. I know that's usually what Sam Sora looks for. Okay, back throw. All right. Did he coming back from behind? A lot of time already transpired here, but I do not imagine time is going to be a thing. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh my. That little sidestep back before the forward smash to angle it just right. And there's Ooh. Zenodo rushing back into that game. Now has a 2-0 lead. That was such a beautiful... He did a runaway turnaround F smash. That was... I like that. Maybe he thought if he did the F smash too close, Peach would have popped out above or something. So that's why he might have sidestepped or ran a little bit away. That was fantastic coming out for Zenodo. And it seems like Sam Sora decided to go Final Destination. This is a stage you normally never want to take Diddy Kong to. Yeah, this is usually Diddy's best stage. He yeah. loves it when you have nowhere to escape from the banana pressure, right? Yeah. Props if Sam Sora is able to take this game. We're going to see a lot of running away coming out from him, trying to avoid. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> Double peanut gun cancel. And Sam Sora keeps trying to do that. He keeps trying to run in and go for these grabs, but Zeno Zenodo's just ready for it every time. And look at him, just knowing exactly where that banana was, the combo carrying him all the way to the right anyways. And look at the extend it here. And now the ledge pressure continues. Ooh, okay. I like that. Almost forcing him to pick up that banana and do something about it. Actually, kind of putting him in a bad position, but I do it did realize that Sam Sora tried to uh, insta throw that banana. Oh goodness! The patience from Zenodo to escape that uh, that float pressure with the down air. We've seen how effective that can be against other players in this bracket, but Zenodo knows exactly how long to hold that shield for and what angle to jump out and come out with the aerial. Oh, very good angles coming out from him. And I like that. Just retreating away for a neutral air, deciding not to put too much pressure because that downer is really weird coming out from Peach the way she floats she can land in front of you behind you right on top of you it's hard to expect where she's it's so land. ambiguous yeah all right are we gonna see another banana run away turn around F smash uh oh yeah he's throwing those bananas at the short hop to try and snipe the flow it's really effective all right. especially with no platform to mix up to yeah all right stay near the ledge again really good choice if you do get hit by the banana you'll be pushed off to the ledge so it's okay can't get KO'd 
All right, this is the position you want to be in. So much pressure on Diddy Kong that he can't even take out his banana if that fair had hit and most likely would have KO'd. The monkey flip, of course, very clutch as it's been known. But, ooh, not going to get the hit on the up smash. The DI away from the down tilt. Second time? Oh okay, goodness. just okay. the bear. I was going to say his percent's a little too high and the rage is high on Zenodo. Where down tilt, up smash most likely won't work, assuming that Sam Sora sees it coming. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, all right, taking out that you We're know, zero. Speaking of Z drops, <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm just starting to flex a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I feel that's one of the ways. Oh, okay, <laughs> calm down. What are you doing? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Goodness gracious! All right, Diddy Kong's all over the place, man. I love it. Yeah. Diddy Kong movement has developed so well over the four and a half-ish year history of Smash Four. Yeah. There's so many cool little just intricacies to the movement. You know, we've seen all the ledge cancels, so that peanut reverse with the pop guns. But yeah. okay, that's a good trade if you're Samsora. All right, still a little shocked to see they decide to go to FD. Diddy Kong just doing whatever he wants onto Peach. Hey, okay. okay. He has all the time in the world to pull that banana. See. Like, the stage is so long. What's Peach gonna do at the corner? Okay, take him off stage, see if you can stuff him out again. Almost. Ooh. Gotta watch out taking out those turnips against Diddy Kong. He's usually always trying to run in and get that grab. Okay. Oh! What? Oh! oh. Ooh. Ooh. 61%! Let me see that fair! Almost gets it! A down tilt! Oh! How oh, did he sneak gosh. past? So close. That was the mangle if I ever saw it. Ooh. That was amazing. <laughs> so much damage in that short little time spin and almost gets a KO. Alright, stay in that shield, run to the ledge just in case you get hit by banana. So now trying to slow it down after that crazy flurry from Samsora. He still has the lead, he still has the KO power if he can just rely on his banana or the down tilt. But Samsora trying to take that away. Great item catch. Okay. Oh my gosh, going for that fair, trying to sneak it in with this rage. It should still be able to live through it if you hit him from the center of the stage. So he needs to rack up some more damage before he tries to go for these crazy fares again. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh wow. wow! Armada! <laughs> uh, trading blows on shield here. Okay, getting away from that up smash. Uh-oh. Going for that up here. One more. And fair, 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 fair. Oh! Oh! Fair. oh! <laughs> the classic! The classic Peach trick side B into falling down fair. That was so risky because he could have just gotten punished hard after that. But props to Samsora. Winning on FD. All right, you know what? Peach versus Diddy on FD. Peach wins. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Peach wins after that. And I feel like Zenodo might go back to FD. He's like, yeah, that was a mistake. He just did. Yeah, <laughs> that was a mistake. I was supposed to win that. Let's bring it back. You're dumb enough to take me here at Diddy Kong? Okay. I'm going to show you why they used to call me the second best Diddy. And maybe the best if he can make this run, get his name back out there. Like we said, Sonoto hasn't been traveling nearly as much as some of these other top players. Yeah. And the Diddy Kong presence just in general has been maybe at an all-time low in the national meta. Yeah, the moment uh, Zero disappeared, all these Diddy Kongs uh, haven't been, you know, placing too well. But we'll see. And MVD's still out there. We got uh, Dyer. I know it'll bring it back. Mm. Well, Zenodo's run today is definitely a reminder to respect him. Oh, because <laughs> he certainly it can be a threat even against these, like, potentially top 10 rated PGR players. Yeah. Like, Zenodo makes it look like he clearly wins some of the matchups he's been doing recently. Um, but you just don't see many people placing that high of Diddy Kong. So, but Zenodo taking advantage of why this character wins. Just sitting there and being able to just take out that banana and wait to see what you're going to do and then try to punish you. Okay. Oh, that is... Mr. Saturn. Saturn. Uh oh, let's see the music. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wait, pick it up again. Oh, oh okay. That oh power my gosh, shield that was power nice. shield. That could have broke his shield. <laughs> You'll keep it on the stage. No. Mr. Saturn is gone. Sam Sora pulled a Mr. Saturn versus Ned earlier today, and as soon as Ned got it, he just threw it off the stage. He's like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, but Zenodo Zen instead trying to make it work for his offense. I'm going to break your shield. I'm going to break your shield. Crazy item play on display here in Losers Semifinals. Yeah, this is a really good set so far. Sam Sora actually bringing it back. In the beginning, it looked like Sam Sora stood no chance, but something about this FD power up for him versus Diddy Kong. Ooh, oh, I, 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 I like that trap. Yeah. I, I got hit by that. <laughs> I felt like that was coming because Diddy Kong's at the percent where almost nothing can KO him besides up smash. So mm -hmm. I feel like he might just try to go for that read, especially at the percent he was, where it's like, you know, down so up smash with a KO. What in the world? What the heck? Trying to pull out the Mario Tennis Aces skills here is Sam Sora, but 
Instead, he's going to lead to another extended situation here on the ledge, and that's where Diddy loves to be. Oh my gosh, actually, air dodge into to the ground, not punished though. And he knows that he's looking for that down tilt into up smash, so he's going to have to float. Ooh. Oh! Nice tricky play here by Zenodo. That oft-forgotten move, the up tilt from Diddy Kong. Always useful having that back pocket. It's always pretty much fresh. The only time you see Diddy's use it is that uh, finishing blow scenario where, like, you can't get a down tilt up smash. Big damage, though. Oh, goodness. And it continues here. I love seeing Diddy just keep throwing out a string of attacks. They're not, it's not even combos. It's just like, I stop you, I stop you, I stop you over and over again. It's a vortex. Yep. It reminds me of like Akuma in Street Fighter 4. Akuma Matata? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you said Akuma. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Back through. I was just gonna let it, I was gonna let it hang. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> it's Moon and P Puma in Street Fighter. <laughs> Alright, that'd be some out. DLC, dude. Yeah, that'll be some nice DLC. I'm open for it in Smash, man. You know, that direct. Wait, what happened? Is it di isn't there a direct? The heck? Anyways. <laughs> when is it? <laughs> is it tomorrow? Right, well, here we go. Oh, okay, trying to get something started with the Peach Bomber again, but here's Zenodo not looking at all perturbed. Yeah, this is lo looking how I expected it to be. Actually, this is almost the same as it was last match. Simsora had it was losing by a lot, and it did some crazy combos. So let's see that crazy combo come out, or Banana into Down Tilt into Up Smash. But Simsora's got to wait patiently for the opportunity. Oh this my is God, it. Why? Why Off the turn up. Why would you do that? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not over. It's not over. It's oh, not over! He's so lucky he went that way instead of the other way. 60 <laughs> unanswered percent! Until just now. What is this, a replay of the last game? There's no way. Can't sleep on this Queen Samsora, man. I'm kidding. <sighs> Had the read, but did a mistaken footstool. <laughs> oh, who's gonna blink? Okay. The shield stare down often happens in this matchup. I like that retreat that he just did to go all the way over to the ledge just in case. Let's get hit by Banana. Okay, Peach's gotta land at some point. Good fade back away from the range of that banana. Now the banana in Samsora's hand, but just gonna force the issue. The last hit connects on the up smash. And does it, we have Zenodo moving on. All right, well, congrats to Zenodo. He is taking out all these PGR players while not having a high PGR ranking himself. Again, like we said, not able to go to too many tournaments, but doesn't even matter. Showing, you know, why he's one of the best Diddy cards.